Okay, so now we're going to talk about making the dye concentrates because obviously that's like the focus of our, our well, it's not the focus, but it's we can't we can pattern fabric, we can't dye it without the colors. Uh, so for each color that you would want to dye, you've got to make a concentrate. My recommendation is that every single time you want to do some dyeing, you make the concentrates specific to that time. Uh, you could conceivably uh, store these dye concentrates in jars in a refrigerator. They would last a little while. I prefer to make just the amount that I need for that particular dyeing session. Uh, kind of a standard amount would be a half a cup of hot water. And I do heat it up in the sink. It doesn't need to be boiled, but it's hot water and it's a half a cup. Um, and then two and a half tablespoons of urea. And I sent all y'all the urea in the kits or you purchased it. Um, and I'm going to measure out two and then I the other half. It's not, you know, it's not super important that it be exactly a half. If it's a little over, a little under, it's not gonna make a difference. Um, and then for like what they call the standard color of that particular, the kind of the, the color card color, uh, you're going to want a tablespoon of, uh, a level tablespoon of the dye. Um, again, if you have a little bit more, a little less, it's not going to make a significant difference. Um, but if, since we are kind of collecting all these colors to make uh, color cards of our own to record, we, we want to be pretty standard in, in um, and how much we use. You're going to add that to your urea and hot water and close up your dye right afterwards. Uh, should you be wearing gloves at this point? Probably. Uh, do I ever wear gloves? No. Um, so, um, but it's, it's probably a good idea. Um, anyway, you're going to stir this until it's dissolved. Depending on the dye, it might take a little bit longer, a little less time. Um, it, they really are so different. Each, each color is so different. Some really clump up and some dissolve really uh, instantly very nicely. The point of the hot water is to get it to dissolve as quickly as possible. Once you feel like it's uh, dissolved, which this one isn't quite, but I'm, I'm going to stop my stirring here just because it makes noise. Um, once you feel like it's dissolved, then it's ready to work with. It's ready to combine with your print paste and start um, actually using on your fabric.